Hello guys, this little black belt here. How are we doing today? So uh, I got a tutorial today, and uh, I figured, uh, in addition to the uh, gaming videos that I put out every once in a while, I, th I thought I would also start perhaps a C++ um, beginners coding tutorial. And in order to start that, I figured I would provide you with the necessary information to download uh, all the programs that you're going to need. Uh, or, well, I mean, you can do them in different ones, but these are the ones that I'm going to be using, so if you would like to use the same ones as me, follow along in this tutorial. Uh, so, uh, this serves basically as how to compile with G++ um, in Notepad++. So, if you're here just to learn how to, how to install G++ and be able to compile with it, then I'll have a little YouTube um, box where you can click to skip to that part of the video if you're not interested in downloading and uh, installing C or Notepad++, excuse me. Uh, however, if you want to get the whole thing, um, be able to use Notepad++ and compile with G++ inside Notepad++, then um, feel free to, to follow along for the whole thing. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is download Notepad++. Sorry, it's, yeah, I'm a scrub, okay, I'm screen recording with uh, um, PowerPoint, but whatever, it gets the job done, right? So we're going to pull up a new tab here, just pull it over from my other monitor, and we're going to just go to Notepad++ here. I'll have a link in the description for all the things that you're going to need, but I'm just navigating them here like this. We're going to get a download, download that installer, save it. I uninstalled Notepad++ so that I could go through all the steps with you guys and make it a little bit easier to understand. Although you shouldn't have any problem downloading this installer and getting Notepad++. It's probably the easiest part of this tutorial here. So let's just wait for it to finish. Pull this bad boy up. We want English. Select your language of choice. Next, I agree. Next, next. Okay, I'm gonna create a desktop shortcut and then make sure you check this box. This is gonna allow you to manually put in the um, the plugins that we're gonna need a plugin for this. So just press install. Get Notepad++ up and we're just gonna run it here. So. Uh, here's the um, the change log if you want to read that. I'm just going to click out of it real quick and minimize this. So the next up, uh, next thing you're going to need is um, the NPP exec um, plugin. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. If you go to Plugin Manager and, and Show Plugin Manager, there's all these plugins that you should be able to download automatically in here. And as you can see, um, NPP exec is right here. So you should be able to just check this and install. For some reason, it doesn't work on my computer. It probably has to do with uh, admin privileges. So I'm going to download it manually. But uh, however, you should try to just press install and see if it goes through, because it should work. So, But for me, we need to do it uh, manually. So how we're going to do that is go to the source for, uh, SourceForge page. And I'll link this. But uh, this is it right here. Let me pull it over. Um, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to the NPP exec plugin, right, click on that. And then we need to download this bad boy here. This is for my current version. Uh, when, you're, uh, when you're downloading it, it may not be you know, 0.5.3. But for me, currently, that's what it is. So we're just going to download this and wait for it to get downloaded here. Might take a second. It took a second before. And there it is. Okay, NPP exec. Uh, Unicode, save that to my downloads folder, open it up. So, get out of here, bud. Uh, so, let's just minimize this really quickly. Uh, we need to extract this. Uh, you, you can extract it directly to the Notepad plugin folder, but it's not working for me, so I'm just going to extract it to my desktop here. Boom, right there. Okay. And as you'll see, they pop up here. We can just click out of this. Now, wherever you downloaded Notepad++, we're going to need to go to the folders. For me, let me sorry, I got I have two monitors here, and things keep popping up on my second one. So it goes to your libraries and open up. For me, it's in my C drive, Program Files x86, and just scroll on down to Notepad++ right here. Open it up. We're going to go to the Plugins folder, and we can just take all of this and move it straight into here like that. Okay, and now we should be set up. And what we need to do here is X out of this and restart Notepad++. And if you go to Plugins, uh, you should see NPP Exec in here. Um, but to make sure, if you go to Installed, and it should say NPP Exec. 
All right, now this is the plugin that's going to actually allow you to do compiling, but um, to actually get the G++ um, slash GCC compiler, GCC being the C version, we're going to need to go to um, the internet and download that. So here we are. Um, we are going to download G++ here. So we just type in um, ningw, and that's going to bring us to uh, the download package for installing G++ and GCC. So we're going to click on this download installer over here. Just give that a little click. And as you can see, it's uh, loading up here. And we get this downloaded. Just give it one second. There we are, Minji W sub. As you can see, I've downloaded it a couple times before, but we'll save that and then get it running. And they recently changed the setup and how it looks like here. So um, I am going to install it using the command line interface, and I suggest that you follow along. I feel like it's a little bit easier. So just click um, uncheck this box because this is going to install the graphical user interface. And uh, we're going to use the command line. I feel like it's a little bit easier, so just follow along here. If you're not familiar with the command line, that's okay. You don't have to be an expert. Just follow what I do. So okay. click continue here, and it's going to download the files that we need. And this is going to be a second. Um, it's not going to take too long, so I'm just going to let it sit here and uh, download. And then when it finishes, we will continue. Okay, so... Uh, you can see it's it has finished 112 items now. Keep in mind this is a beta version, so it's very likely that this the look of this installer is going to change. But as of right now, this is what it looks like. And if you use the command line setup, this continue box should be grayed out. Um, if you if you did the graphical interface setup, then this will probably uh, be an option for you. We're just going to quit out of this because we do not need it. And uh, now, if you followed the instructions and did exactly what I did, then MinGW should be a folder saved right here in this bin, right? So um, it's located within um, the C disk, MinGW, and bin. So we need to add this as um, an environment path. And in Windows 7, the way you can do this, click here, go to Computer, and then right-click and hit Properties. And they pull this over here. Um, and it's advanced system settings and then environment variables and you click down here to path now if you want to do the same thing in Windows 8 and Windows 10 don't quote me on this but I believe in the Windows thing you just right click and then go to system uh, and then this uh, should be the same uh, although I'll have to check because it may not be um, but I mean you could figure out how to get there if you google it but this is how you do it in Windows 7 so then you're gonna find this path here you need to click on that okay oh shit okay sorry I just clicked okay uh, we need to edit okay now uh, make sure that you're on the end here you can do that by clicking end on your keyboard I'm already there but and then uh, follow these instructions exactly we're basically going to be pasting in that um, uh, mingw slash bin path. So, at the end of this, put a semicolon, okay? And now uh, we're going to type C colon and then a forward slash and then min GW. And this is, of course, if you save it to where I did, which I recommend you do. I mean, if you didn't, then you need to be putting uh, the path that you saved it to. And then um, slash bin. Okay, and then click OK, and uh, don't delete anything else on here, and make sure that you're adding to the end. If you screw up, click cancel and get out of there, because uh, if you if you mistype something uh, or delete something in here, uh, you can uh, cause a problem. So click OK, click OK, and then OK. And now that you've added that path, you should be able to um, to download the compilers by doing the following. So I'm going to get into the command prompt here. And uh, I'm not sure if this is necessary, but I don't think, I think you're gonna have to navigate to the directory. Okay, you don't have to. I guess you can download it straight from uh, the, your current directory. So that's fine. So 
we're installing the GCC compiler and then we'll install the G++ compiler. You could have done it on the same line, but I was just testing to make sure that you could... I thought you would have to navigate to the bin directory. You don't, because we changed that path, so I guess that was stupid of me. But anyway, so we're getting the GCC compiler, and then after that we'll get the G++. If you don't know the difference, G++ is the C++ compiler, GCC is the one for C. Now obviously, well it's not that obvious, G++ can compile C code, but if you're trying to write strictly C code, then you'll want to compile with G++, or sorry, GCC. Um, and there's other packages that you can get from MinGW. For example, you can get uh, GDB, which is uh, yeah, it's like a debugger, and you can get that um, as well. There's a couple things you can get, but just for right now, I'm only going to be downloading GCC and G++. Um, and if this takes a long time, I will skip it. I'm not sure how long this is going to take because I'm doing this um, as I'm recording for the first time. Again, I, I did this on my brother's computer, but uh, the installer was a little different and uh, did a lot of this for you, so I don't know why they made it actually more difficult, but uh, hey, it's whatever. And again, this is a um, a beta version of this installer, so it's likely that it will change in the future, and uh, these instructions might be a little bit different, so you'll have to pay attention to that. Okay, so um, the GCC install has finished, and it did take quite a while, so uh, it's important that you do not um, X out of command prompt or do anything until you see this stuff here. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for... Um, G++. That's yeah, dash git install G++, and will probably take quite a while uh, as well as the GCC one took a while for me. So um, I will cut it and be back to you when it finishes. Okay, and G++ has finished. Took a lot less time than GCC, so um, in that regard we should be good. And just to give a little check, we have deep G++ dash dash version. Oh, sorry, I typed it wrong. We remove this space here. Um, there we go. Uh, so, and then we should be able to do the same thing for GCC. Sorry, I confused myself right there when it gave me that error. <laughs> Alright, so we've got GCC and G++. Perfect. We are still not quite done yet, though. We need to do a little bit with um, Notepad++. So, what we're going to have to do here is we're going to need to open Notepad++, go to the plugins, and head over to the um, NPP exec um, thing, and you notice execute should be F6, so we can actually just press F6, and we need to type a little script in here that is going to allow us to um, compile straight from Notepad++. So the code we're going to type in here, uh, I didn't write actually, it's uh, from uh, Dale, this guy named Dale Swanson, his blog, okay, um, and there's a couple different ways that you can you can write this. Uh, I'm going to write it the way I prefer it. Uh, so we're going to start with npp um, underscore, s sorry, save, and what that's going to do is simply save the project that you're working on before you compile it. Then we type enter and cd for change directory in quotes and then the dollar sign and then um, in all caps current underscore directory and that's just going to change it to um, the current directory that you're in that your file is in okay um, and then G++ this is how you're actually gonna compile uh, and we are going to type uh, dollar sign and then all caps again file name sorry there should be an underscore there yep uh, it auto correct for us here file name and then um, dash o and this is going to allow us to name to uh, to name the um, sorry the output file the executable name underscore part da, da, da. and then uh, in his code he uses dash march um, equals native space dash um, o3 I'm not going to include that because it's not necessary 
Um, and then finally, this last part is going to actually run the program. It'll be notepad plus plus underscore run. And then the dollar sign and then name underscore part. And that's simply going to run your executable. And so um, we can save this, which I recommend you do as save and then you know call it whatever you want uh, for example um, C uh, we'll, we'll call it G++ compile and this is for using G++ obviously we can save that press OK um, so here's just a simple code um, and then we can compile it with F6 okay and here's the script that we're running and we'll just say OK and this is going to ask us to save um, that executable file that we make. I'm going to save it to my desktop and we can call it, uh, I don't know, new.cpp for C++ file. Save. And as you can see, um, it is ready to be executed with G++ and, and our executable is called new right here. Um, and in order to uh, you're gonna to have to run it through command prompt so yeah we can run through G++ through command prompt we just go through command and then navigate to the directory of new which is desktop so we'll do change directory desktop and that's gonna pull us into the desktop directory and now if we just type new it outputs hello world and so as you can see um, we can compile this um, our programs through Notepad++ and then run them here. And additionally, you can also compile through um, this command as well. Um, but uh, it will not autosave your program for you. Uh, if you use this method, it will autosave. So, but uh, as you can see, if uh, we can, for example, use G++ and uh, our program is called new.cpp and uh, We'll do dash O and name it um, Hello World. And that's going to be the name of the executable. And we can just enter that. And as you can see, Hello World is right here on the desktop. And if we run Hello World through our um, command prompt, it's going to run the program as well. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, you should have everything you need to start creating C++ code, compiling it with G++. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll continue this tutorial later, um, our tutorial series. Uh, I'm going to start making these C++ tutorials um, for uh, basic beginner C++ stuff. Uh, and so that should be a lot of fun. So hit me up sometime, hopefully tomorrow, I will have my first video up, but uh, we'll see. So, uh, th again, thank you for watching. You should have the necessary tools to, uh, to continue with the tutorial. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, so thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I will see you next time.